everyone and welcome to uh, Stampin' Chat Live with Gina K and Kathy Z. This is going to be a fun afternoon today. We'd like to welcome you from all over the United States and all around the world. We are really excited today on Stampin' Chat Live because we do have special guest Kathy Z waiting in the green room. And we know so many of you have been asking me to bring Kathy on the show. She's an amazing card maker, an amazing scrapbooker, just an all around amazing creative. And I think you're going to really love what she has in store for you today. Now, before we bring her in, I just wanted to talk for just a few minutes about a special thing that we're doing at Gina K Designs. So um, everybody knows what's going on with Ukraine right now. And uh, we are feeling very deeply for our Ukrainian brothers and sisters. So we have a very special thing that we launched yesterday on our website. And Tom, if you can go to the overhead, I want to show them this. Okay. So this is a digital stamp. And what that means is it's a file that you purchase and download on your computer. And it's a PDF file. And you can print it out and use it as many times as you want. You can also make it bigger or smaller, depending on whether you want to do it on a, you know, a a big poster or you want to do it on a much smaller card. It's a vector file. So when you make it bigger or smaller, it doesn't change the quality of the file. So it is a sunflower and it looks like it's growing out of a pocket here. And then it's got these different greetings with it that fit perfectly with our strip sentiment dies. So if you have our strip sentiment dies, you can cut them out using these. And some of our other strip sentiments from Master Layouts 2 are a little bit wider and you can cut those out or you can just cut them out with a paper cutter. Now this is called Pocket Full of Sunshine. My daughter Alicia drew this beautiful sunflower and then she gave me the artwork. We made it into a stamp set. It's much bigger in the stamp set. And I ended up putting it in a pocket. And I want to tell you just quickly the little story behind why I did that. Um, there is a, uh, a story going around about a Ukraine woman who approached Russian soldiers. And all she had with her was a bag of sunflower seeds. The sunflower is the national flower for Ukraine. She had this bag of sunflower seeds and she handed the bag of sunflower seeds to the Russian soldier, soldiers and she said, what are you doing here with all of these weapons on our land? Take these seeds and put them in your pocket so that flowers will grow when you die. And so we decided to do this. Let's go back to the overhead. We decided to do this to represent that statement that she made of the beautiful national sunflower, the Ukraine national flower growing out of the pockets of the Russian soldiers who, who perished on their land. And I did make a card and I posted it yesterday on Instagram. You can see I made my pocket denim and I did a little texturizing in there. And so we are selling this on our website for $3.99. That's just about the same price as a Starbucks coffee. And 100% of that $3.99 is going to the Global Empowerment Mission to support, they are in Poland right now, and they are taking in women and children, refugees who are escaping the Ukraine right now and trying to find shelter and warmth and clothing and food. They're taking them in and they are taking care of them. So if you don't mind, if it's something that you would like, uh, $3.99 for the digital download. Even if you don't want to use the digital download, you can be sure that that whole $3.99 is going right to help anyway. So if you just want to buy it and not even use it, but you know that money is going to help, um, that's fine too. Maybe somebody you know would like to have that digital file that you can give it to them. We ask you not to share the file with more than one person if you bought it for somebody else. This way we can raise as much money as possible. We've already sold close to 400 of them, so that means we've already raised 
about hmm, 400 times four, about $1,600. And we want to keep going. We want to make a big statement. Everybody can do a little and a lot of littles can add up to something big. All right. So I just wanted to share that with you now. Let's get to the good part. Let's bring her in. She is sitting in the green room. Let's welcome her. Kathy Zilski. Hey, Kathy. Hey, everyone. I'm <laughs> so excited to be here. Ah. It, hey, it is so much fun. Hey, it is. I always see you in my lives and chatting with everybody. And I always know when you come in because... 400 people go, hey, Kathy Z, hi, Kathy Z. Kathy, I love your videos. Kathy, I love your cards. Kathy. Well, that's it, that's high praise because what I've told people and what most of them know because I talk about you incessantly, um, your channel was the channel that I spent hours and hours and hours with when I first started making card cards and I would go back, Gina. I would go back to like when you had the boom mic and all that, like it, there, it was just so inspiring to me. Aww. And it kind of gave me a, like a framework for how, how to do YouTube. Well, you certainly do YouTube really, really well. Everybody you. loves your videos. And uh, you. if you haven't subscribed to Kathy's channel, head over to uh, Kathy Zilski. You can search her CZ Design. Uh, she has an amazing YouTube channel. You'll want to subscribe because every card that she makes is absolutely fabulous. And Kathy, um, Kathy came from the scrapbooking world. So she is not a real new card maker anymore, but she's newer to card making than she is to scrapbooking. And it took to you. It fell in love with you, card making, Kathy, because you are well, so good. That is very sweet. And, you know, I've had people ask, what was the thing? What was the thing that tripped you into the, the wonderful pool of card making? It really was, um, I work for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. And the publisher, Catherine, had said, um, I need you to make a card. And this was back in, like, t early 2017. And I was like, great, I'll make a card. You know, it was just not something I did. And um, I got my hands on a big shot and some dies <laughs> from Stampin' Up! And that was it. And then I discovered you. And it was just, you know, of course, in the background, I've known people for years in the sure. in the card making world, like Jennifer McGuire. And I go way back to scrapbooking. And she used to say, come to the dark side. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no, but but it has been a joy because I think as my kids have gotten older, they're adults now. They don't, you know, I they don't want scrapbook pages and their stories told all over the place. So it allowed me to stay in crafting and do stuff really just that I could create and share and I didn't have to get permission. Like nobody has to approve a card before I can make a video. So it's been great. Yeah. yeah. And the thing that's really cool about uh, card making, and I know that you're really good about this, is card making, scrapbooking is wonderful because you can make beautiful scrapbooking pages for your family. Yeah. Card making extends to your your friend group and your outside family because yes. you make this beautiful thing, you get all the joy and pleasure, and then you send it on to somebody else and brighten their day too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's addicting, isn't it? It's so addicting. And <laughs> when you see my reactions and creating, they are genuine. I still can't believe that I get to do this. Like I still can't believe that I am doing crafty things that I never did in scrapbooking. I just, so I can hear boss now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Heat embossing. That's the gateway drug right there. Well, what we're going to do, Kathy and I are going to play with the brand new card kit. I sent Kathy this kit because it's so her style. So many of the things in there just reminded me of her. So I sent her the kit and I said, hey, you want to come and do a live with me and we can both make birthday cards. And birthday cards are the number one card next to Christmas cards or holiday cards that card makers make. So you can never have enough of them. And uh, you're going to love Kathy's style. And then there'll be me over here doing my thing, you know, with everything outlined in black. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to go to the overhead and I'm going to show them what I'm going to use. And you could do the same. So for my card, I promised everybody that I would be using the layering stencil set, the brand new layered confetti stencil set. I'm going to use that today. And I am going to, since I already did something with the flowing florals, I'm definitely going to do something with this one here, the birthday bash stamp set. I thought I'd make a cake. And we'll see if maybe we can make it wobble. I'm in the mood to try these wobblers. I haven't tried them yet. I don't even know where I put them. They're somewhere <laughs> on my desk. I'll find them. But um, I'm kind of 
in the mood to try them because I've seen them on Melanie's cards and so many people. So we'll see if I can locate them somewhere in my mess. Um, and then I was thinking of, instead of using this piece, which I demonstrated um, in my release party live, I thought I would use just this one and do kind of a tall layered cake. So even though we have our new Master Layouts 10, the slimline, a lot of you have asked me to do something with the mini slimline. So I think I might use that as my die set today. Now, Kathy's much better at preparing than I am. I do everything <laughs> off the cuff. I don't ever know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to cut some cardstock, and I'll let Kathy tell you what she's thinking about doing today. All right. Well, I, I am a little more prepared because I was a bit nervous. So I am going to work in sort of a monochromatic palette today, but I wanted to use this die, this cool, happy birthday that comes in the kit. And when I saw how this die worked, I lost my mind because <laughs> anytime, anytime you take a sans serif type style and then you pair it with a, an elegant script, it's just a beautiful exercise in contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this greeting and I, I pulled out some cardstock in advance. So this is passionate pink. And look at me, look at me cutting live. Cutting Gina, live, Kathy. You've created a monster, I love it. Okay. Now, here's the cool thing about this little friend is that I want to do an inlay. I wanna do an inlay because otherwise I would have to space and place these and I'm, I'm not gonna space and place them, I'm going to pop them into the negative space. And that's what is so cool about this is that, now I do need some tape here, let me find some. Uh, I, I purchased some pink tape, look at that, isn't that cute? It's the same easy C kind of tape, but any low tech tape is going to work. And what I'm gonna do, now I might have to stand up and look down here to make sure I can get this taped into place. I'm gonna die cut this a little, well, a little further here, let's line that up, yeah, we're pretty good. You kind of see that you know what i should have done gene i should have pulled my hair back oh my goodness i got <laughs> so much hair don't be shocked friends if you see me all pulled back with the hair because let me tell you this is not this is not working with hair in my face i get a lot of hair in my projects um okay and gina while you're cutting i'm just going to cut this out and if it doesn't work we'll go back to gina <laughs> Okay. And Kathy, yeah, if you could if you could zoom out your overhead camera. I don't know if you can, but I think you can in your Let software. Me see. Oh, I can lift it up a bit. Okay. Yeah. That it's a work. weird, it's a weird thing in that the software I have uh limits your screen. But anyway, it's it. Let's see what happened. Did I get it lined up? Oh, I did. Now here's oh, wow. the cool, here's the cool thing. So see that? Isn't that cool? Now that is how it is supposed to look. And here's what you want to do, though. If you get this die and you have the kit, you need to save the innards. These little guys are right in here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to create the inlay. So, and you also want to save the letters because you can use these on another card. Oh, perfect. You know, they yep. just cut out. Well, the Y is still stuck in there. But all right. So I'm going to go ahead, Gina, and cut out. And you can t talk about okay. what you're doing because I'm going to cut out the happy again so that I can get white letters. Okay. Well, I'm going to okay. talk about what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to add a little bit of confetti in here. And I just want to show you guys how to line up the stencils. So all you have to do is make sure that the words, and I know they're very hard to see, but the words are at the bottom of each stencil and they're going to line up perfectly. So I'm going to add just a little confetti, just kind of in the center here. So I'm not going all the way up to the top and I'm not going all the way to the bottom. I'm using my Misty. So what I did was I taped this panel into my Misty with just a little bit of tape on the back. And now I'm just going to put the stencil right in the corner of the Misty. So I don't have to worry of, about it not lining up perfectly because after I do this one, I'll pop my next one into that spot and then I'll pop my final one into that spot and I will be able to get nice even spacing with these designs and just so you guys know Tom ran all the way into the warehouse and got me some wobbles <laughs> all right so I'm going to start with a little bit of one of my favorite colors and you guys know this jelly bean green 
And mm. I'm going to stencil a little bit of jelly bean green onto the large confetti design from this, um, this stencil set. Now I'm starting more heavy in the center and then I just kind of want it to get lighter as I go out toward the edges. So I'm starting with a nice heavy green and then I'm getting a little bit lighter. Now I haven't cut my panel yet, so I'm gonna cut it afterwards. But I want, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough room that that slim line was going to work. And I think it's gonna work just fine. So that adds a little bit of that confetti. And you can see taking that off. So I've got confetti just free falling there. Now I'm gonna take my next color and my next stencil, which is going to be the little dot part of the stencil. And all of these stencils can be used together or alone as standalone stencils, which gives you three different stencils, you know, that you can use alone in this pack. And, you know, even this one, like the dots, you could use it for your holiday cards to mimic snow. You can use it just for a little bit of texture. So, you know, I think that there's a lot that you can do here. So now I'm gonna go back in with this turquoise C blending brush and I'm gonna add turquoise C in that same area going heavy in the center and then gonna get a little lighter as I go out toward the edges. This is so much fun. I love I stenciling, you guys know I love blender brushes. I'm trying to watch Eugene at the same time as do what I have to do. I'm like, I'm getting distracted. I'm not used to this. I'm used to sitting back with drool coming out of my mouth in a state of bliss. So there's the second one already. Look how cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, so good. All right. And then my final color is going to be wild lilac. So I'm going with a green, blue, purple mix here which is always fun. Then I'm gonna go on top of the whole thing with a little sea glass. Now, sea gla I chose sea glass because sea glass and purple won't clash, they won't make brown, and sea glass and green won't clash, they won't make brown. And then of course, sea glass and turquoise sea won't. So that'll just give me a little bit of shading behind my whole cake. So here's my final one. I'm gonna do this one with wild lilac. And this is just kind of little wonky stars. My daughter Alicia designed this stencil set and I really like it. I think it's just one of those basics that you can use for so many other things other than just birthday cards. New Year's Eve, holidays. This also kind of looks like falling snow. How are you doing, Kathy? Well, Gina, what I am doing is I have inlaid the word happy into the little die cut shape. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if you noticed people watching. I used scotch tape. I don't care if it's acid free. It doesn't really matter. You just need something to hold it. And the reason I want to do it like this is because I want to add some dimension to it, I think, for my card. And so rather than glue this right down onto the surface, I, I kind of need to have, you know, I need to have that. Uh, taped together on the back. Now here I've saved the little, little tiny pieces and I am going to fill them back in and they'll just, they'll just stick right to the tape, which is kind of cool. What and, are you using to pick those up with? Okay, Gina, this is my Studio Katia embellishment wand. Okay. And, and so is that kind of similar to a jewel picker? Yes. If people have is, that? It is. Yeah. It's the same idea. You have kind of a waxy tip. And I've tried a lot of them, but I'll tell you what the best part about this particular tool is. And now I'm just going to burnish this down a little, like just, you know, just take my bone folder so it really adheres. The best part about this is you can unscrew the tip that it comes with and you can put a color tip in of your choice. The reason why I like the white, and it really is just a waxy kind of crayon, then you don't inadvertently get color or black marks on your cardstock. You know me, Gina, I do a lot of uh white card bases yes and be because of that it can be a problem so um this little tip is great interesting okay i think i had something oh. similar at one time like a quick stick maybe by we are memory keepers had something similar oh. 
that yeah. had a little something in there. It was like rubbery that you could kind of like, almost like Play-Doh. <laughs> like this? But sticky. Yeah, yeah. yeah something yeah. like yep. that. Yep, yep. And I had that from, a, from my scrapbooking days. And uh, I, use, I use it sometimes, but it does tend to leave a little wax. Now, I am going to go ahead while I have, uh, I'm bringing out my passionate pink. And I'm just going to use the same cardstock here because what I'm going to do is create a blend for my greeting for birthday. But I don't want to die cut. Um, I don't want to die cut it first and then do the ink blend because then it might get a little heavy around some of the cuts. So sure. all I'm going to do is load up my brush, my little. Now there is a brush in the kit too, which I think is great, Gina. Because oh, it's you know it's yeah. I mean, if you haven't tried a brush yet, it's a great little way to try it. Oh my gosh, it really is. Because here's the thing: when I started making cards back in the early days, I I got very depressed in the first three to six months because I wasn't very good at ink blending. Mm. <laughs> you, you know, and I thought I thought, how do people do this? Well, it just takes a little practice, you know. It takes a little practice. It also takes a nice combination of ink. Good ink, good cardstock, and a nice blending tool. You know, it's not always you. Sometimes it's just the tools that you're trying to use. And there's exactly. so many good ones out there. I am a little partial to to the Gina K ones. <laughs> yeah, so I just I want it. to show them real quick here. I um I cut this out using our Master Layout Seven Mini Slimline die. This is the one with the stitching. And now I'm going to cut out a black panel. And before we go any further, we just have to, um, people are asking, I see people asking, um, Tom, can you just stop in and say hello? <laughs> Everybody wants to see you. Hello. Happy <laughs> there <Christmas>. he is. <laughs> uh, Kathy already said that she's got requests for your guitar, just so you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've got it ready to go. <laughs> you, you know, June. Tom, I'm a fan of Journey. I, I'm kind of dating myself. Any Don't Stop Believing jazz version? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you might have to learn that one and dedicate it to Kathy when you learn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work that one up a little bit. Uh, well, it's great to see you, Tom. So glad you're here helping us out today. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. <laughs> All right. So um, I also cut out a black panel using the plain rectangle from Master Layout 7. And you can see that those line up really nicely together. And now I'm going to start stamping out some of my pieces of my layer cake. All right. Hey, I see Simon Hurley joined us. Oh, and I can see comments too. I just, this is so different, Gina, when I'm live versus doing a premiere because I'm, I don't, I can glance over my shoulder and see people. So hello, everyone who's out there. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's hard to see people when you're in the middle of working. Sometimes you miss the comments and we go back and we have to look later to see what you guys were saying. But it's oh. always pleasurable to do that too. So don't stop commenting because we see it and we love it. I see people who want, Carrie Henry wants carry on my wayward son. And let me tell you, sister, you are on my wavelength. Okay, I am going to cut this guy out now so that I can show you. And Gina, are we both using our blue our blue spellbinders machines today? We are, aren't we? We are, yeah. We're both using the the blue one. Yes. They're so they're so cute. Okay. Now let's see how this looks. Ooh. See, oh, this Kathy, is another thing. So I cool. I yeah, and I don't do this very often. Like I don't ink blend on die cuts. And Gina, when I got the die, I thought to myself, this is exactly what it calls for because you know, you want to create a little visual contrast between the two because they overlap. And look at this. This is just so pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and I look love at that. that. Passionate pink ink. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's you. a beautiful blend too. It and you know, I don't, I don't know. Butter. I mean, Kathy, you're amazing. So don't take this the wrong way, <laughs> but I'm going to say it. When you ink blend, even if yeah. it doesn't look perfectly ink blended, when you cut it out with the dye, it just all comes together. You don't oh. notice every little imperfection. Now, Kathy's blend is spectacular, but don't be afraid of trying that technique. Well, yeah. And also don't get discouraged. I don't know how many people watching today are newer card makers. I have been doing this now since 2017. And I love to tell people it's only paper because it is. And so you can try things. And you know, if you mess up, 
it's no big deal. You can start again. It's it's just it's meant to be fun. Now I lost an extra die cut that I had here, Gina. I might have to <laughs> cut another one. Where did it go? I cut a few more of these birthdays off camera, and I think I flicked one onto the floor. Oh, that's called <laughs> so preparation. I, gotta... <laughs> I don't understand what that means at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut another one out real quick, Gina, so I have my okay. extras. Well, you do okay. that, and I'm going to let people know, for my card base, I cut this six and a quarter inches by six and a half inches. And then on the half inch side, I scored it at three and a quarter inches. And that gives me that perfect border going around the outside. Um, and this will fit perfectly into our mini slimline envelopes. And the nice thing about mini slimline cards, just like regular slimline cards, I'll get this straight sooner or later, is uh, that you don't have to add any extra postage, even though they're kind of a unique size, because this is actually the same size as a check. So it'll go right in the mail in a check size envelope. All right. So now I have that. Now it's time to stamp a few cakes. So I know what size I want to do, right? I have my mini slim line here. So I think I want to use this cake right here. And I'll probably do maybe two layers one, two, three, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll just do two layers and then maybe I'll do let's celebrate almost like frosting on the top of the cake and I'll have the candles coming out of let's celebrate. Let's see how that looks. We'll see. I got to do some die cutting though. So I have a piece of cardstock here and will you guys help me figure out, should I make a turquoise cake or a purple cake? What do you guys think I should do? The purple would be the wild lilac and then the turquoise would be turquoise C. I was going to add a little bit of, while well, you guys decide that, whether I should go with purple or uh, turquoise. I am going to take my turquoise blending. Okay. The purples are coming in hard, hard and fast purple. <laughs> purple. Okay. That's good. I'm glad that most of you said purple. Cause that was kind of in my mind to do purple. And maybe I can like alternate the candles in three colors. But if I do purple, then I am going to use whatever's left on my turquoise C brush. And I'm just going to gently add a little turquoise C mist in here just so that my die cut pieces are really gonna pop off of that. You see, I'm not going all the way to the edge. I just added a little mist of color in there. All right. And Gina, it's a purple I'm, group today. <laughs> you know what? I, I owe my group purple too. I have something coming next week that is all about the purple and I hope that it makes people happy because it has been said, it has been said that I do not like purple, but it's not true. I love purple. I, think I love purple too. Amazing. I think it's overlooked though. I don't think but we it use is it overlooked. enough. Yeah. All I right. We... I'm going to try to glue this together. I'm just stacking. Um, so I have a little dimension here and hopefully I will. This is another thing I'm going to tell you. I, I just put connect glue all over this because I figured if I use liquid glue, right? I have a little more play time, a little more wiggle time than spray glue. Oh yeah. And I've gotten better at this too. It, it, I'm At first it was like, what am I doing? How, how come this can never line up? But you do get better over time. And Gina, do you think if I'm doing another layer, should I try the Gina K drag it through the glue method? You know how you... Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, so do I just take a little... Oh, by just, the way, this is my little squeeze bottle, which uh, I the love squeeze it. bottle. You don't even really need to drag it if you have the squeeze bottle. But I the mean, squeeze do you bottle, just kind of do that? Like, yeah, just I just kind of. Kind of yep, and then you just kind of drag it through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> got another one time. <laughs> okay. Okay, got to cut another one, Gina. You hear everybody? This is why I don't go live very often because I'm so confused. Okay. You know, I'm laughing because those things happen to me, you know, six times a video. I, and I just toss things off the side and it happens. All, All right, right, so I'm just stamping this a couple times to get the color nice and dark. All right really want to get it dark. And these are relatively new stamps. So, you know, it takes 
stamps just a couple tries to get seasoned. There we go. I'm going to stamp one more layer just so that if I decide I want it to be a three layer cake. Now, yes, there is a bigger layer in the set where you can have, have the cake more tiered. But the reason why I'm not using that is because it's a little wide for this mini slim line. So I'm just going to make my layer cake all in the same uh, chunk of cake. Like, see how this one is nice and wide? That's really good for like a wedding cake where you could do this and then two of those and yeah. But I'm just going straight away like this. Come All on, right. Get out of there. How you doing, Kath? <laughs> I have gotten... Just checking in on you. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm okay. Now, I don't know. There's not, it doesn't seem like there's as much happening over here, but let me tell you people, this, this <laughs> is card making without a net. So well, I just smeared. So, okay. So over this here. time I need to go. All right. Yep. I just put it on the wrong side. That's all. You know, hey, it things happens. happen. Things yes. happen. But I am going to try this again, Gina. So I'm going to smushing you away just because I see you do it. And I think to myself, I should try this. Okay. That's where we're going. And we're just going to go like that. Oh, <laughs> that. Just get the glue on. I know. And do you get your fingers kind of gluey, though, Gina? Like, do I they... do. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> See, I'm like the anal retentive chef from Saturday Night Live. Everything is always so neat and tidy. Okay. Let's oh, see now. Yeah. I don't know that we can be friends anymore. <laughs> Do you remember that sketch where he had to clean up and he cleaned up so much that he never was able to cook anything? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to stamp a few candles and I think I'm going to use three different colors here. So let me get an acrylic block. We'll make this one easier. Oh my All goodness. Right. Yeah. This is, yeah, it's, gotta... it's similar to Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have I have done that. Oh, we're pressing it down with my block and hopefully we're not too sticky. So see, now I have this and this is going to go Oh, oh that's here. gorgeous. Right? Yes. See how it provides that little bit of contrast? All right, let's get this out of the way. Yes, girl. And that is beautiful. I like it. Okay, I'm going to try real quick to do something else here off camera. I think I might just do a bit of spray glue to save some time, Gina, because I'm going to throw on a, a mask. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> spray glue and a mask. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. All right. I hear it. All right. It, it's happening. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got my three candles stamped here, and then I'm going to stamp the flames. And mine is going to be totally, gosh, I don't even know if I should do these flames. I think I'm just going to do the big flame. No, nah, I'll do them both. I got to do them both. This is going to come together fast at the end. Once I get everything See, die cut, it's going to be bang, bang, bang. And I feel like this will too, because there's, this is the hardest part, you know, the stacking and the gluing. Oh, for but sure. Once I get the B in, there we go. Okay. Okay, I just had a revelation. I'm going to do something. Let's see. What color? Okay, let me get cubes. That's my revelation. I love and I will under the table. I will say that the liquid glue is so much more forgiving than uh, <laughs> than the other glue because, you know, it's just, uh, well, it just is. Now, I'm going to grab some Ooh. foam squares. Where I'm kind of working up squares? a sweat. Gina, so am I. <laughs> You know what? I can't even find foam squares. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. How how are we doing out there in comment land? I haven't been able to look over at all because Don't worry. Every they love you. Okay. <laughs> like you're great. No. You're great. <laughs> this is this is so different, Gina, than uh <laughs> than doing a uh a premiere because when I do premieres, I've already done the video and then I just chat like a fiend, you know? Yeah. Well, no, this is good though. This is good. And we just so you know, we have about 1800 people here across all three platforms. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, well, hello, all you wonderful Gina K people. 
I okay, think... now I'm just going to show you. I'm let me zoom in here because I know that I'm kind of far out. So this candle, this little flame has two parts. It's got the, the big flame and then it's got the small one. And the small one, I am going to get my head in the way for sure, but I'm going to do the small one in orange like that. So see how it's kind of at the bottom, but you could put it anywhere you want. It looks cute no matter where you put it. So don't stress about the flame too much. See, that one's not at the bottom. That one's not at the bottom either. So, <laughs> but if you line it up in a way that uh, you can use your Misty, then you could have them be absolutely perfect every time, you know, if you're, if you're worried about that. I'll do one more and see if I can make the last one match. So I'm stamping this in yellow, wild dandelion. And then I have the small one on the other side. And can't even see that there. Small one on the other side and boom. Yep, see, that's better. That's a little bit more not at the bottom. And it doesn't matter either way. They both look cute. But if you do it at the bottom, it looks a little more like the flame is coming out closer to the wick of the candle. But again, this is a very whimsical set. So however you do it, it's going to look adorable. I think we've had at least a few viewers spray their morning coffee onto the viewing screen. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So Gina, <laughs> well, I you're welcome. Talk, yeah, we're, 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 we're happy we can provide some morning joy. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do, this little stamp from the card kit is so fun because look at how easy it is to create your own little confetti just by oh, random I randomly stamping it. So I also pulled in... Uh, a little bubble gum. No, Dusty Rose. Sorry, Dusty Rose. And I'm going to do a, two two tones of stamping. So this is really very monochromatic. But this little stamp, I think I think this is the unsung hero. Like, you know how sometimes you, you see a little stamp in the set and you think, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Yes. This is one of those stamps that I think you can do so much with. So I love oh, this, that's Gina. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so it's, glad. It's so, so cute. Glad. Well, I'm not, so, I'm not known for random stuff. So this is very exciting to me. That's awesome. And I love the way that looks. You know, I would I hadn't thought about putting it behind the words like that. And it just makes the whole thing look so much more festive. Oh. Yes, I agree. Michelle says she loves that monochromatic look that you created there. And Thank I you agree so with much. I was trying to get my iPad back up here so I can see some of your wonderful comments. All right. All right. So, Whoa, well, I'm just cutting my cakes out quiet. here. And there actually is an, a right side and a wrong side of this rectangle because they're a little wonky. Um, but again, because it's a wonky design, the whole set is just a wonky design. I say that if your die cutting is wonky, it fits right in with the theme. So don't worry about it. I'm now designing stamp sets that are meant to be used wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they work better when it. you use them wrong. <laughs> All right. I could have see. made this cake a three layer, three color cake. Why didn't I think of that? Well, you know, do you ever do that though, Kathy, where you're in the middle of something, you go, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Oh, yeah. Um, and you don't beat yourself up because it's just paper and you can go make another one. Exactly. In your new, in your new plan, your new idea. Right. Now, Gina, I'm using Master Layouts 1 which is honestly one of my most used of your dies because, because of cutting out the panels. And I'm going to trim this panel down awesome. just a little bit. So do you guys like a wonky layer cake like this, where it's kind of, kind of not really even, or do you like them all stacked nice and neat? I think I like them stacked nice and neat, but let me cut the rest of these things out because that's gonna help us determine, but I wanted to give you some food for thought out there. So I'm gonna cut these candles out. I think you have a wonky crowd, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> they like the wonky stuff. <laughs> they like it wonky. <laughs> that's, because, that's because they're my people. <laughs> I love it. I love They're it. They're my people. I'm wonky, so they have to be wonky to even be here. They have to like my wonkiness. <laughs> All right. Where did I put the other die? Oh, my goodness, Kathy. I want to cut this down, Gina, and I don't know where I... <laughs> it is 
It is so messy in here. All right, I'm going to cut another layer, but I, I misplaced the bigger of the two dies. So let me find that, Gina. Well, I really thought I was going to get two cards done, and you know what? I don't it never happens. Never happens. I don't think it's going to happen. All right. Kathy Zilski, where'd you put it? Let's Kathy, see. did you find your bra? <laughs> did I? <laughs> Yesterday, Kathy and I did a test run, and she didn't realize. She had forgotten she wasn't wearing a bra. And... Uh, Thank goodness it was just Kathy and I and Tom wasn't involved because <laughs> I know, I know, you know, you got to do what you got to do, ladies and gentlemen. Right. And sometimes, you know, a bra is just too much thought. I mean, if crafting's supposed to be fun, I think, yeah. you know, I think we can nix it. Ditch That's all the I'm bra. Saying. Ditch the bra. Yeah. Ditch the bra. I just have never been a fan, but maybe because I, and you know, some people say, oh, well, you just haven't had the right fit. Now, man, I went to Nordstrom years ago and spent all this money on high-priced bras and got fitted. I still hated it. So, you know, what are you going to do? Exactly. Well, I went to Nordstrom one time and got fitted, and they told me I was a 36 long. What? <laughs> Gina, you're like five feet tall. <laughs> yeah, but they're still long, Kathy. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, come come to think of it, I can relate to that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, <laughs> Where, where's I, Tom? Where do you think Tom is? He's in the dead space. That's what <laughs> <laughs> just hiding in the dead space. Tom is in the dead space. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm cutting these candles out, but they're not. I'm not cutting them very even. I really need to use my die cutting trick where I make the little. Um, you know, the little template, it would have looked a lot better if I had done that. I, I have them all just off center a little bit, but I think it's still going to oh, work okay. That is so cute, Jean. I'm just now seeing what you're doing. But you I know what? I'm going to change something out. I'm going to change okay. something out, and I'm going to okay. do this quickly. I'm going to do black candles because I Ooh. feel like this Ooh. needs a pop of black on the card. I've got this nice black around the outside, so I'm going to quickly stamp three black candles. All and right. I'm I like that. Good to go. Yeah, I just have to do it. Got to do it. Now, I'm very proud of myself right now because I am channeling my inner Gina K. Ooh. By doing a thin matte layer. That is why, though, I really do love the uh, the this die set, the master layouts, because, you know, I can't normally cut this way on my own, even if you give me the measurements. And so I like the idea that I'm going to have this nice, thin, passionate pink border. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. Right. So, so do you have more than one color of the little dots in there? Yes, Gina. I did. I wasn't listening. I okay, was freaking I out Dusty over something. Rose, Dusty Rose and Passionate Pink together. Okay. All right. Yeah. I love that combination of the two pinks together. Beautiful. Because I, I kind of feel like that mid-tone in the blend almost feels like a Dusty Rose. So it has a good, um, you know, it has a, it has a good pickup there. Definitely. Yeah. I love that. All right, I stamped three black candles, and I'm going to quickly die cut them using my good method now that I made a template three times already. Okay. So this I've got my so card bases. Don't Gina, do you usually prep your card bases before your, like, you have them already made, right? No. I don't have anything oh, prepped. Don't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have anything prepped. Nothing. I, I hold her in such high esteem, right? I, yeah, I figure... forget that. <laughs> Give up that dream because honestly, okay, this well, is hard to see my template because I always recommend doing it in a contrasting color, but I can kind of see it here. This right. probably doesn't really help people learn though, so I should do it the right way. So let me grab a small piece of cardstock. Yeah, you don't have to have me in highest, hold me in high esteem, lower the esteem. Oh my gosh, Gina. <laughs> Do you, do you remember the time we went out to pizza at Punch Pizza, you and me? Yes, when I came up to visit you, yes. Yes. It was that so was fun. super fun. It was very so fun. fun. Yes. I love spending time with you, Kathy. You're awesome. Oh, you're awesome. Love fest. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Tom in the dead space. I can see him. <laughs> oh, I just noticed uh, Stamper Secret is here, and she says, Catster, the pink border is wonder. Well, there you go. See, I'm just... I'm just channeling my inner Gina. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, she has a new more. tool, right, Kathy? Yeah, and I'll show you. Um, 
And I actually used it, Gina, on your stamp set when I was playing the other day. Uh, it's a, It's got leather on the bottom. And it's basically to prime your stamps. Now, yes, of course, you can rub them. But you know how when you get new stamps and sometimes you stamp them and you think, what's wrong with my stamps? And and if you don't know, and Gina talks about this a lot too, it's like there's a coating from the manufacturing process and it just takes a few stampings for your stamps to get conditioned really well. And so, yeah, um, this woman, Deb, designed a tool that has leather and it really does work. Like you, it's she's on Etsy and... It, it works. So, Gina, it's kind of like, you know, the, the Chucky is finding new life everywhere. Yeah. Yep. She I sent just, me one, too. Mine is beautiful. Look, it has a turquoise handle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. And it really does work. I mean, it yep. primes it, and you get a great stamp uh, for the first time. So, all right. I'm going to pop this down onto my card base. So, Deb, if you want to share your website, your Etsy store in the comments, feel free to do that. All right, I'm cutting out these little black candles. I think this is going to make a huge difference. Look, already. I mean, you can see that candle so much better, right? It's just more vibrant. Oh, it's so I think cute. it was meant to be. Okay. All right. So now I am going to move this up. See, I made this little template. If you're new to my channel, I made this little template, and that shows me where the lines around the outside of the candle should go, the white lines when I die cut it. And then all I have to do is pop this die into that empty hole there. And then I like to tape it down. You can kind of feel it click. And then it's I'm the smartest it thing. If you're ever frustrated with your die cuts, do Gina's template method, especially on things that you have spent time coloring, mm, yeah. you know, because there's nothing more disheartening. But this template idea, it works like a dream. And I do have a five minute card video explaining a couple of different ways to get the perfect uh, symmetry around your dies. So if you want to check that out. It's on my YouTube channel. It's real obvious what it is. It shows a picture of the die cutting machine and, and some butterflies that are perfectly centered. So you check out that video. That might be really helpful for some of you that do struggle a little bit with this. I yeah. struggle. That's why I came up with this because I totally struggle. So Gina, I just put some <laughs> connect glue. Oh my goodness. Somebody I just, just put... said that they thought you said leather thong, Kathy. Oh no. <laughs> No, that would be for the nighttime lives. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I put a little of Gina's Connect glue on the back of my foam because it gives you just a little bit of playtime so you can make sure, if I bring in my ruler here, that my greeting is straight. Yeah, that's straight enough. Looks good to me. Gina, I have a question for you. Okay. Regarding a product... Um, do you still sell these, these GKD clear quartz uh, confetti? Well, we do. We pulled them down from the site because we've had some supply chain issues getting them okay. back in. But okay. um, if people don't use those, they could use, they could substitute our disco ball sequence for those. But I, okay. I understand why you like those. Those are really cool, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to pop these out. Um, I, I was hoping because I kind of... I kind of hoard the um, confetti style sequins and I, I I realized that I had these from you and I was just kind of shocked that um, that I th they've just been sitting in plain sight. So yeah, the disco ball, and I don't think I have those, Gina. I thought the I ordered ball? them. I thought that I did, but maybe. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna figure out a sequin placement. I really thought I was gonna get two cards today. <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? I, th I hope we get one. <laughs> Oh my Cause gosh! Because we, we got to give away these uh, these two cards. The, the um, clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Um, so somebody was asking where they can get this kit, and you can get it on our website at ginakdesigns.com. All you have to do is click on the "What's New" category, and that's where you will find the kit. All right. And so. you know, just so you know, we're just using little like. There's so much that could be done with this kit. I'm super excited that I have it, Gina, because the it's cake alone, kit. like, it's so fun. It's so cute. Yeah. And, and it's a big kit. Um, I did a flowing floral design. It's got a floral set in there that I thought I was going to like more than the birthday set. And I do love it. I mean, I've got... I, 
I already did one card with it. I've got another card coming on Friday using it. It is one of my favorite new floral designs that we have. But yep. I didn't realize how much I really wanted to make wonky, fun, cute little birthday cards. And I just didn't have anything to do that. So this is really fun for me. Oh, yeah. I yeah. And the thing is, too, I really do think birthday cards... Oh, my goodness, the chat. I can see people. Um, the boop is coming. You know... <laughs> The what? Boop. The boop. B O O P. Not boop, boop. Gina. Boop. Oh. <laughs> um, Sorry. Sorry. I'm still. I'm still <laughs> having PTSD from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I actually started doing this when I. Well, I. I don't really remember. Um. But uh, here's the noise. It goes. Boop. I really got it kind of from all the times I've watched the show with uh, Dan Levy and Eugene Levy, which I don't want to say, but you know what show I'm talking about, the funny show from Canada. I don't know that show. That S-C-H-I-T-T, -T, their last name is S-C-H-I-T-T, -T, Creek. Oh, Shits Creek. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not, you know. It's, <laughs> it's a sh yes. Well, I, Alexis uh, always booped people, and so I think it just sort of <laughs> stuck in my head. So, boop. Whoop, and um to that's, say that? I don't know. <laughs> it, I it just I just stuck. Whoop. And so it's funny because most people enjoy the boop, boop, and they do it themselves and they've adopted it into their lives. But I do have some folks on my YouTube channel who are like, I love your channel, but please stop booping. I can't stand it. So I do kind of give boop alerts. Oh, you do? Oh, oh well, that's good. At, look how cute that is. That is adorable. That is so, 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 so cute. Don't Look how cute that is. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? Tom's face. Tom. <laughs> Did Tom, Tom come in? Me? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's adorable. See, I don't know oh. anything about the boop, and I don't know why I don't know that. I should know that about you. Yeah, it's just a sound. But look at this. Look at this die. Like this. Oh, the typography is just brilliant. There's no... A uh, little tittle on that eye that detaches. It's all one piece. Okay. What's and you a know, tittle? you can do so many what's things. What's a tittle? The tittle is the dot on the eye. This, I actually. This show, I'm going to have to mark the YouTube thing like the warning that it's not made for <laughs> kids with all these words that are coming out right now. <laughs> well, it's a typography term that I oh. didn't know, which I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't know that considering it's literally how I have you know, kept my career alive at being a designer. But yeah, Laura Basson taught me that. And then someone in the comments earlier, I saw they pointed out what the counters were. And yes, counters are these little uh, friends on the inside. Uh, I think that that's what they're called. I should know this, but. I believe oh that I've heard that expression before. I, so I love I it. I'm just I, not sure if I want a wonky cake or I want a single layer cake here. Help me, Kathy. Do I want a wonky cake? Do I, I want a straight cake? Where it's I want just, it wonky. You and want it I wonky? never want something wonky. But Gina, I think See, the, I could wonky, do it that way. the wonky would be so cute. Okay. I'm going to do You all break right. that plane. You make a wonk. Walk all right. I'm, I'm wonking. <laughs> wonking. You willy wonk it, girl. <laughs> So kind of like that, like, should they just, they, they need oh, to touch like that. though. Like, right yeah, there? like that kind of overlap and then bring the other one up. So they're just. Just a little wonky. Yes. Yes. Like that. Yes. I think it's super cute. Okay. I, I don't cake. know. And everybody in the chat's going wonky, wonky. No straight cakes. No straight cakes. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to wobble it if it's wonky because it's not going to be. Well, maybe I could. And Dawn McDaniel said she's never purchased a kit. She thinks it's time. I will say every time there is a kit, and I am really lucky that um, I get to be part of, you know, Gina's design team and that she will let me be a guest. And they'll send me like, like they sent me Lisa Hetrick's kit, which I love. And I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing my own live on Friday and busting out that kit because this has given me some confidence. But um, every time there's a kit and I see what people are doing, I am very tempted to buy them because they're of an incredible value. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's got really a lot art. of stuff in it, that's for sure. Yes. Okay. So I think, all right, I think what I'm going to do, just I have to try something else. This is taking a while because I'm thinking 
What if I put the let's celebrate right there over two stacks and then had the candles coming off the let's celebrate? That would be cute. Would that yeah. work? Yeah. All right. So I might just do a two layer cake. And I mean, I mean, and Sheena, is this the mini slim line or the full size slim line? This is the mini. Okay. Okay. This is the okay. mini. I okay. might wobble it. I might wobble this. I'm I'm going back and forth here. I know time is ticking, guys. I know. I feel I'm, like you can I show them the card that I was going to also make? I, let me yes. see. I was going to make another card, you all, and I'm gonna show. Oh my goodness, this it is so messy in here. I am embarrassed. This is the card that I worked on off camera. Now, now Gina makes on the fly, and normally I will be honest, I make on the fly too. But because I was nervous, just because I wanted to make a cute card, um, this is just a mock-up. So this means nothing is, is fully glued down. But I took Gina's cake and I, I heat embossed with, you know, white embossing powder, ink blended, and I was kind of workshopping this. Now, now it's not on a panel yet, right? So I was going to pop it down on a white card base oh, or a yellow card is base. That? Isn't that cute? It's and adorable. that's the little slice piece from the, the kit. And I didn't know it, what that was until I watched Gina's live. So the release parties are so great because if there's something in a kit that you don't know, like, what was that supposed to be? Um, in fact, you know what, Gina, will you finish that? I'm just going to pop it on the card base because it's pretty cute. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Actually, I just want to show you guys that I, um, I am going to make this wobble. I just feel like it needs to wobble. And I used scotch tape on the back to make sure um, to make sure that it all stays together. And then somebody wants to know, are the birthday die and stamp in a kit? Are, yes, all of this is part of the kit. The dies, the, the birthday cake, the dies, the, the happy birthday trio that Kathy is using for her card with the words, all of that is part of the kit. It's a really good kit. It's a really good kit. And I um, I will show you too, once I get this on here, this card was really also one of the things I learned from Gina that I would have never known oh, before. Stencils. Oh, the stencils are not part of the kit. That That's a little standalone purchase. Can you see the lines on there, everyone? I just used my score buddy to add some texture to the panel of cardstock. So that was something that Gina, I never knew <laughs> until those... Those early days in 2017, laying in bed and listening to your dulcet tones. My, my ASMR. <laughs> you were my craft ASMR for sure. Okay, I did make this a triple layer cake. So I'm using all my parts here. And now we're going to wobble that. Okay. So, oh gosh, Tom, did I lose the wobbles again? Oh no. Okay. Here they <laughs> that would be oh, so bad. <laughs> I found my other birthday die cut if anyone's worried. <laughs> oh, I'm, I I could use that right now. So oh the way gosh. these wobbles work. So, Kathy, yeah. have you used these wobbles? I have never used an action wobbler, no. Okay. So I think you peel this backing off first, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not mistaken. I don't really think it matters, but this part is going to go on to this part I'm going to put on the card. Which part am I putting on the card? I'm gonna put mm, I'm gonna put this part because it's the thicker part. I'm using okay. my I'm using the context clues. I am <laughs> we bought these in bulk, so I'm taking a shot here. I'm going to put this, this is the plastic part onto the card itself. Okay. And then this paper part, the thinner part, is going to go onto this. And then it's going to wobble. Oh, my gosh. It's going to wobble. I should That's have stamped. I'm going to stamp my greeting first because I won't be able to get it in the misty when it's popped out. Okay. So my cake is going to be here wobbling. And then I really would like a big, bold birthday wishes, but I'm not sure it's going to fit. I'm going to take a shot and see if it fits. Now, not, I would I like to, a small one. Go ahead. I'd like Please. to ask in the comments. I don't know if this card does need any any bling on it. What do you think? Should I bling it? Bling it. I, 
should I bling it? Because I yeah, just because I want to hear you say boop. I know. I just wasn't sure. Like, I don't know if I want to have anything up here. Like, what if I had it up? <laughs> Get up here. But I kind of like the idea that it's. Should we bling it? I'm looking. Bling, bling. bling. Yeah, I think people bling, bling it. Bling. Boop it up, says Jennifer Van Pelt. Well, all right, Jennifer. If you say so, I'm gonna get a. I got a mucky one. All right, let's just uh, now. You know thing, what I'm gonna you know do? I'm gonna take this stamp off for a second, and I'm gonna lay this right up against this to see if it fits. Oh, it does fit. See how you can kind of test it first. Oh, it does yeah. fit. All right, that's where it's going. All right, wish me luck. Also, today is the first day. If you can hear the sirens, I apologize, but they're testing the emergency sirens. It's the, it's a sure sign that spring is coming. Yep, Boop. tornado season in the Midwest. Boop. Boop. Oh, come on. Come on now. Boop. There we go. You didn't warn me. Sorry, Gina. Boop alert. <laughs> All dogs and sensitive folks. Boop. Boop. People. So some people don't like it and other people need it. Boop. Yeah, some people don't. I get it. I mean, I know it's silly, but here's the thing. It's like life is really short. And if there's something that brings you just a little bit of joy, it's okay to do it. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm running into the middle of a crowded mall and screaming and making duck honking noises. You know, I mean, it could be worse. It could right. Be worse. And we could try that next time I'm up. <laughs> next time I visit you, there is the Mall of America. <laughs> oh, my goodness that. gracious. You know, it's so funny. I never, I almost never go there. And when I do, I park in the exact same quadrant. I uh -huh. always go in at the Nordstrom end so that Dang I know girl. how to get out really fast. But here's this one. And this one I was planning on doing on camera, but is that a cute little slice of cake? It really is. Oh, okay. It really, that's adorable. And I do like, I like the bling. I think the bling was necessary. I okay. I am was, using yeah. the wobble okay. here. So, so I'm holding it down. Here. But I don't know if I would give this one away because I this one I literally threw together this morning as I was as I was planning the design. This is the one, Gina, that I think has the the oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's a little it's a little crooked, but you know yeah. what? I think it makes it even cuter that it's crooked, right? That is I don't think so I can move it. I don't think I can move cute. It. But how oh, cute yes. is that? Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. That is so cute. It it I oh. kind of like the wonkiness. Mm. I totally like the wonkiness, Gina. Having the having the actual cakes lined up, but having the wonky. Yeah. That is so look at that. Isn't that so fun? I may have to order some. I've never I've never done an action wobbler. So that is and what a fun card for a birthday. Right. Especially, you know, I like, I mean, I, I would enjoy getting this card, but I think a lot of times with like kid cards, yeah, kids like these little actiony things and things oh, to do like that. that I could so put a second cute. one on there, but I think only one wobble per card. I don't know if I can move it. It's on there really, really good. It's not going anywhere. So that's what we got. That's I the wobble. It. There we go. <laughs> So I would suggest, my suggestion, because this is the first time I'm using the wobbler, I put it down a little low. I would put it up higher on the cake so it doesn't tilt forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so I put it just up a little bit higher so it would be a little bit flatter. And I would maybe relax because I was kind of like squishing it. Um, and I think I had it like tilted a little bit when I put it on. So then when I let go, you know, it ended up kind of wonky, but it's not that bad. And I think it's fun. And hey, there's a lesson in there, right? I don't know there what it go. is, but there's a lesson. <laughs> there's a lesson. You got a lesson. There's a lesson. Yes, for sure. This was so much fun, Kathy. All right. Oh my Tom, gosh. Tom's okay. going to give away these two cards. Ooh. All right. And the way it's going to work is anybody who left a comment, there's 1,840 of you still here. Any of you left a comment, that is how you got into the drawing. And Tom randomly picks two different people to win these cards. And then all you have to do is email info at ginakdesigns.com and let us know which card you won. I'll get the information to Kathy for Kathy's winner. She will send that and I will send this one. So I'm sorry if you, if you ended up with a, a wonky cake, but you know. 
<laughs> it's so cute, Gina. I think it looks so cute offset like that because, yeah, I, 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 and I know, I know how it is sometimes when you think something should be on there linear, but that makes it so cute. Yeah, I actually think it, it is fun. It, it's definitely fun. All right, so Tom, who's gonna win the wonky cake? All right. Well, you can you can jump in my spot if She's you want. Drum roll. Jump in my spot. You and Kathy on the screen. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so the first winner, and whose card is this? The this is one. this is the uh, the wonky cake. Wonky cake goes to Marlis Waldron. Marlis. 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 Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Now, who's going to win Kathy's faded birthday? Her happy birthday. Okay, the happy birthday card goes to. Bonnie Johnson. Bonnie Yay, Bonnie. Johnson. Woo. Woo. Congratulations. All right, Marlis and Bonnie, all you have to do is send that email along, info at GinaKDesigns.com. We'll get them right out to you. Well, Kathy, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much, Gina. This is like, this is the pinnacle. I'm going to go take a nap now because I just like, I'm, yeah, I am just creating with you was awesome. Oh, Thank it you was, so much. It was so great to have you. I learned a lot from you today. I'm going to definitely try that fade on the uh, die cut words. That's beautiful. And uh, hopefully everybody got a little something out of it. Kind of learned, you know, about bra sizes that they maybe didn't know were out there. <laughs> Hey, listen, Kathy, I'm just glad I'm not looking around for a bra in the tube socks section yet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, it's not far off in the distance, Gina. It we'll really okay. isn't. We'll it's not okay. far. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. As long as I can have my stamps, if I have to tie them around the back of my neck, whatever. All right, everybody. <laughs> this was so much fun. Kathy, please come back. Promise me you'll come I, back. I would love to. Oh my gosh, Gina. Now that we figured out the technology, now that I know how to join you, yes. I'll come back anytime you like. Anytime. All right. All right. And make sure you subscribe to Kathy Zilski's YouTube channel. Find her on Instagram at CZ Design. She's on Facebook. She's got her own Facebook page, a great blog, tons of information. She's awesome. Kathy, we love you. Love All right, you everybody. Time. Thank we you. love you all so very much. I will be back later this week with a five-minute card video. I do have to let you know that I will not be on Monday night. Monday night, no live. Tom and I, we just had our anniversary yesterday. We celebrated 36 years, and we are going to spend a few days over the weekend together away from all of this, and we're not coming back until, not coming back to the studio until uh, Monday. So, uh, I won't be live Monday night, but we will be back again then next Wednesday live. All right, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you all so very much, and mwah, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.